Oh, Zed. I think that kit, the plane alone without anything on it, is about 500. Really? That's why. That's why. Man, look at that That's thing. Awesome, huh? That could be a good picture, too. Wow. And it flies like a trainer. Right, Mr. Young? Yeah. Hey, Young was flying it yesterday. <laughs> So was I. That's in our dreams, though. Well, I wish I could fly like him. You see how that tail moves? It doesn't have the stabilizer. The stabilizer is the elevator. Yeah, the whole thing. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. And all got four servos on the ailerons. I think that's what's going to have to happen to these planes to fly. They're going to have to have two, it's going to have to have two servos on the elevator. Even though it's hooked together, two of them working in unison together, because I don't think it's strong enough to keep it from vibrating. That's a lot of air go over that thing. Mm -hmm. Cutting it down a half inch knocked the air down, but what what's going to happen when he's going really fast? Well, they don't fly them real fast. They fly more, more. Sooner or later, somebody's going to fly one really fast. Well, I think Jerry did that. That's yeah. why it happened. And it's going to disintegrate. Well, it tore up. Tears up the servo. Can't, the little servos can't handle all yeah. that force of that. That's, That's why I'm saying bending it. two servos hooked to do so it would be. I think we'll give it. You have to have one mounted like this way and one mounted this way. Yeah, the, no, you can find them both the same. On the both. Yeah. Same direction. Same. Yeah. You might have to use a two-channel radio or a nine-channel radio to do it. Use two channels. You can't buy new radios, right, Mr. Young? Mm -hmm. We can't afford new radios. You afford the doors, you'll figure out a way. Yeah. Uh -oh. With this plane, you, you might be able to get away with using the two channels on a six. You got an extra channel on a six. Yeah. You just mix them, right? Yeah. With a nine, you could put, with the nine, you could put two channels independent of each other but working the same thing and you can adjust the speed of the two channels so you can actually take the rods off it and set it up and watch them when they're exactly moving the same and then the thing would be strong you know with with two uh, servos you see they're so close in and everything too that's just you got a big area to hit the air there They work really great when the planes are going slow.
I like to watch him land. Oh, yeah. He lands about as good as anybody. Yeah, that... So far, everything I've seen him land, he just makes, makes it look so easy. Well, he knows how to judge what the plane's doing. Yeah, he does. And, you know, some of them you got to... He's been, the he's been doing this a long slow. time. And he, he gets into the theory of everything on it, you know? Oh, yeah. Look at that. I mean, even the way he does his wing. Yeah. He comes around just right. Yeah, the plane looks so beautiful up there, man. Look at that. Look at that shit. Ain't that something? Wow. Yeah, he corrected even though yeah. it could have been a little worse. Yeah. Made it yeah. That's awesome. Very guy to design that and we're going to do it. The guy flying knows what he's doing too, that helps. Oh, yeah. When you get two together. That was a very enjoyable flight to watch yeah. you fly that thing, man. Yeah, I'm gonna nice. burn. I'm gonna burn you a copy of that flight. Oh, it looked cool. really good, man. It. That thing is just so smooth and nice up there. Yeah. I was amazed at your new little plane. How smooth it was, you know? How smooth that plane is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it might be just him, but when you were flying, it was real smooth too. Mm. So I figured it has to have something to do with the plane. Yeah. It's a good little plane. See, the only problem with the planes with the things is you have to leave the wings on them. To, you know, <laughs> too much work to take them off. That's why I never take them off, you know? Oh, they want the wing? Yeah. You glue it. I oh, you glue it in? Okay. Then you have to leave it in then, anyhow. They said you glue with it, huh? Yeah. <coughs> oh, that's a nice book, too. Do you keep all your books? I keep all my books, man. Dave on that Florian battery? Yeah, I couldn't balance it. I had a feeling it wouldn't. Yeah. So I left it in the plane for probably six months. I didn't I got the plane out to bring it to fly it and I didn't realize it had a battery in it. Oh. I opened it up. So I tried charging it twice and it only it stuck on 85, 86 percent. Yeah, well they only had one good cell. The yeah. other cell uh, well, at least we know. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. Did you set all your servos by the angles they give you? Hmm? Did you set everything by the degrees they give you? Uh, yeah, but I didn't, I didn't follow exactly. You know. They said perpendicular. Uh, no. So I go by the look. I go by the eye. eye, eye go. Because it's not a machine. You know what I mean? 90 degree perpendicular. Oh. I go, I take a look. <laughs> 